Choosing the right artifacts for your character can be quite confusing and complex, especially when you get an abundant amount of artifacts to choose from. In this video, I'm going to help you guys understand how to properly build up your character using these artifacts. Hey guys, my name is Short Devil and I do stream on Twitch as well. Link is down in the description box below where you can talk to me live and see me play games like this. So it would be great to see you there. And you should follow me on my Twitter for any other channel updates. I do post whenever I'm going live as well. So it would be great to see you there. I'm sure that you guys know that each artifact has one main stat and can have up to four substats if they're of four to five star in rarity. I'm not even gonna mention the three star or lower artifacts because I believe that they are not good enough for end game content. Now when you take a deeper look into the artifacts, you start to notice that the flower and the feather artifacts will always have the same main stat, which is that the flower will always have a HP increase and the feather will always have a attack increase these two artifacts main stats will never change which is good because this allows you to concentrate more on the substats and to make easy decisions on which artifact would be good for your character whereas the other three is more customizable in terms of their main stats the clock the cup and the crown artifacts all at least have HP, Defense, Attack, and Elemental Mastery as their main stat. However, each of these three artifacts can also obtain other unique stats. The Clock or the Sand Timer can get Energy Recharge. The Cup can get Physical, Pyro, Hydro, Cairo, Electro, Geo, and Animal Damage as the main stat. And then the Crown can get Crit Rate, crit damage and healing bonus as a main step. Carefully choose between the three artifacts because they are the only three out of the five artifacts that is more customizable than the other two. Another thing that I would like to point out that might be common knowledge for those just playing throughout the game is that the sub stat would never have the same stat as the main stat. So for example, you never have an artifact with a flat HP increase to have a sub stat with another flat HP increase. However, you might find an artifact with something like HP and HP percentage. So if you're hoping to find something like attack and attack increase, that will never happen unless you somehow added cheats onto this game. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> the next thing to take note of is that you should always care about the main stat first then you should care about your substats later. Whenever you start to upgrade your artifacts, the main stat will be increased 100% of the times. Whereas your substats is random and each of them can only be upgraded or obtained every four levels. For example, if you received an, a four star artifact and it has three substats, it will obtain another substat uh, either at the fourth level or the eighth level of the artifact. Either way, you will want to worry about the main stat first before thinking about whether the substats are good or not. Take for example this artifact, it has a good main stat, but the substats are just defense increases, which makes the artifact not really that good. Unless you're looking to obviously increase your defense for a particular reason, defense and HP increases is not really good, especially if you're looking to increase the damage of your character. Another tip that I would like to point out is to build around your character. Depending on their abilities, you will have to place specific artifacts that can improve your character's capabilities. For example, if I were to take a look at my Sucrose, she has an ability that can increase other party members' elemental mastery based on her elemental mastery. This clearly tells me that I have to use artifacts that can increase my elemental mastery to make full use of that single ability. Another great example to look at is Razor. When he reaches his second ascension, he receives an increase in his physical damage. This is where I would try to find or use artifacts that would give him an increase in his physical damage. 
You should also take in mind what artifact sets that you are using for your character. Now I'm not going to go too deep with the artifact sets because they're all self-explanatory. However, I will point out that you can always mix between sets. For example, I could go for a two exile pieces and two berserker pieces and then the last artifact would be anything that I would like. Another tip that I would like to point out is that having defense as your main stat for an artifact is probably the worst artifact. Unless of course the character relies on defense for one of their abilities to perform better than it should be. A fan example is to look at Noelle. As one of her abilities uses her defense stat to increase either the effectiveness of her elemental skill or her elemental burst. That's why I've said that you should always take into consideration what the character's abilities do so that you can choose which artifacts to place on your characters. In the end, you can pretty much experiment with whatever artifacts that you place on your character. Now, if you accidentally upgraded an artifact that you thought was good, you can always use that as infusion for better pieces that you find later down the line. And also don't be someone like me where I put something that has cryo damage as its main stat and the character doesn't do cryo damage at all. It just confuses me why I have an artifact like that. Like, why? It's, it's sub, or at least it's artifact set, is that it increases pyro damage and it has cryo damage. I just, it, it doesn't make sense. Why do I have that? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful in some way. Give it a like if you did and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos to come in the future. And you should also follow me on Twitch. Link is down in the description box below where you can talk to me live and see me play games like this. So it would be great to see you there. And you should follow me on my Twitter for any other channel updates. And I do post whenever I'm going live. Be sure to follow me there. That's all I have. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you guys later. So what, we're at 70... No, we're at... Oh, God! <laughs> got her. Nice! <laughs> I got her! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. You